Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through recovery and atomicity. So basically, these are the two important concepts which help us to recover the data in an efficient manner. So whenever a system is crashed, it may have that several transactions are being executed and various files are opened to modify the data. Right? That is true, right? So there, there can be many transactions going at a particular moment of time. And there will be many files updating second to second. And what if the power failure or any kind of system crash occurs at that moment? So the previous transactions and the current data transactions should be concurrent or correct. We'll be checking the correctness, right? So we'll be checking all the asset properties, guys. So basically, we have already discussed about all the five or f sorry, four asset properties. Those are nothing but atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability so if you don't remember the all about those things please go back to the tutorial and please refer them and come back guys okay so when a database recovers from a cache it should maintain the following properties so those are nothing but it should check the state of all the transactions which are being executed so at the moment of crash what are the situation of each and every transaction we need to recheck whether everything is fine or not and a transaction may be in the middle of some operation and the database must ensure the atomicity of the transaction. What is atomicity guys? I told you a small trick. All or none. So it should check that because if it is in the middle, it should do nothing or it should uh, relo re sorry, roll back back to the previous state or it should complete the whole process from that particular moment or else the whole thing will be lost, right? Yes. So if transactions are not completely rolled back it is done in two techniques guys so those are nothing but log based recovery and shadow pacing so i hope everyone is now clear with this concept that we have discussed till now in the next tutorial we will be going through log based recovery thank you thanks for watching